sparked racial hostility and violence afflicted America in the 20th century. Numerous events that occurred during this time period altered the way we currently view the world. Yet this realization came at the sacrifice of many young, talented individuals. One such person was Johnny Bright, a fantastic football player whose career was threatened only because he was black. Hey folks, today on Behind the Date, we will take you back to 20th October 1951, to an incident that changed the football world forever. From the dominance Johnny Bright showed on the field, to how his attack was covered in a Pulitzer Prize winning photo series, to how this incident changed player safety in modern football, we would cover it all in this video. Stay tuned. Johnny Bright was an American professional football player who played for Drake University in Des Moines, Iowa. Born on June 11, 1930 in Fort Wayne, Indiana, Bright was a star athlete at his high school, as he was the best in the team for every sport he played, including football, basketball, track and field, softball, and even boxing. He also led Central High's football team to a city title and helped his basketball team reach multiple tournament finals. Bright, like many excellent athletes, was offered multiple scholarship choices, one of which he accepted, a track and field scholarship at Drake University. His passion, though, was for a different sport, American football. Watch intently. They get started quickly as Arnie Herbert fades back and passes to Larry Craig on the 24-yard line. Again, it's Herbert, one of the league's deadliest passers. So he joined the college football squad and, as usual, excelled. Bright had a promising football career rushing for 975 yards and throwing for another 975 yards on various occasions. In 1950, he set an NCAA record for total offense, 2,400 yards, and led his team to multiple victories. However, hate is blind to such achievements. On October 20, 1951, something happened that changed his collegiate career forever. We are talking about the infamous Johnny Bright incident The Johnny Bright incident is one of the most significant and infamous on-field occurrences in the history of American collegiate football. It happened during a game between the Drake Bulldogs and the Oklahoma A&M Cowboys in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Johnny Bright was the first black athlete of national notoriety to play at Lewis Field versus Oklahoma A&M. As a result, prior to the game, it was commonly assumed that Bright was a target for the Oklahoma A&M players. Many newspapers speculated the same thing, and it only took seven minutes of the game for everyone's speculation to become true. Bright was knocked unconscious and had his jaw shattered by an illegal and premeditated elbow tackle from Oklahoma A&M defensive tackle Will Banks Smith. Bright tried to continue and even managed to complete a 61-yard touchdown pass, but soon was forced to leave the game as he kept passing out multiple times. Michigan won that infamous game, but this incident didn't go unnoticed. The incident was captured in a Pulitzer Prize-winning photo sequence by photographers John Robinson and Don Altang. The sequence showed Smith's illegal tackle after Bright had handed the ball off. After the photograph was widely publicized, it sparked outrage among the football community. Oklahoma A&M's president, Oliver Willem, denied anything happened, and the university began a decades-long cover-up. But were they successful? No. The tragedy resulted in significant modifications to the game of American football, many of which involved NCAA football rules regulating unlawful blocking and enforced the use of more protective helmets with face guards. Bright's broken jaw hindered his performance for the rest of his senior year at Drake, but he still finished strong. Bright went on to have a 12-year professional football career after college, but not in America. Due to racial tensions in the country, he joined the Canadian Football League and retired as the CFL's all-time greatest rusher in 1964. Will Banks Smith, the player who delivered the strike, received thousands of letters about the incident, some hateful, some congratulatory, but he always maintained his innocence, saying that his hit was not racially motivated. He never apologized for the incident. An official apology was eventually issued, but not to Johnny Bright. It was sent to the president of Drake University by the president of Oklahoma State University, who wrote him a letter formally apologizing for the incident. His apology was delivered 22 years after the incident, 
The Johnny Bright incident is a cautionary story of racial tensions in the 1950s in the United States. It was a frightening reminder of the racism and brutality endured by African-American athletes at the time. Since then, the incident has been used to draw attention to the need for greater understanding and respect among people of diverse origins. The incident also sparked a revision in NCAA football rules, as well as the usage of more protective helmets with face guards. Johnny Bright's bravery and strength in the face of adversity should serve as an inspiration for future generations of athletes and a reminder of the necessity of standing up for what is right.